we are coming to Silver Shell Cafe. They uh, have an amazing, affordable buffet dinner for tonight. It's International Buffet. And I'm going to show you what we can have for the buffet right over here. The very first thing I can show you that are uh, the fruit stations. So these are the cut fruits and the whole fruits. And then this uh, area is the same place that you get the breakfast. Oh, check out these uh, sausages. And then these are the roasted shrimp lion. And then uh, currently the buffet, you have to ask the staff to pick the food for you. And that is the butter vegetable grilled prawn and then grilled squid the grilled squid looks really good and check out the salmon check out the indian station so they have a uh, okay i think i cannot take up to show you how the food looks inside but the indian food over here is really really delicious there are tandoori fish tandoori chicken malaba chicken curry and the papadum is really really good and the naan but if you can uh, try to order their cheese naan the cheese naan is the best and check out the beautiful dessert station there's a kuih dada and the layer cake and this too is a very delicious uh, quick way then there's a uh, marshmallow and chocolate fondue check out the tiramisu and the caramel tart the cream puff apple tart the black forest the cheesecake and what else mm, the fresh fig tart looks really good crimberry palai rainbow cake and then the fruit cake and the passion fruit rum baba <laughs> what else oh this is a cotton candy station and raspberry finasia and uh, butter pudding and a lot of uh, dessert so vanilla coffee chip gelato dark chocolate green tea and then raspberry sorbet lime sorbet this uh, buffet spread is huge and check out that every look at this the kids will love that and then this is a salad station salad looks good I have a lot of different types of the salad and this is my favorite okay let's check out what else they have Oh, look at the muscle. It's huge. And then the scallop and the prawn. Let's go to the next one. There's a sushi station. So the sushi will like present to you like that. And then let's see. So this is a kid's zone. The kids will come over here to pick up their favorite food. The little so even though that the counter is like slightly lower, the kids will be collecting their food safer. Mm, this is the egg fried rice and then the mini cheeseburger nugget and wedges and the sweet and what else is this the cold cut so the cheese and then the ham let's check out this uh, roasted corner okay the roasted pork belly looks really good and there's a roasted duck as well so these are the chinese station that you can get it's a uh, chicken kung pao vegetable and look at all the tempura the hong kong style fish looks good and then the steamed rice okay here's another station it looks like a place you can get the yong tau fu lots of the different noodle for you to choose and let me see what else here we can get so here's a drink station and that is all that you can get the food at this buffet area i'm going to try the laksa so my friend told me that the laksa is really really good Oh wow, it is kind of like a hot and spicy type of laksa. It is not like the regular laksa that tastes slightly sweet. While Jim is having the laksa, I have uh, went for the meat um, section. And what I have here, uh, the sausage is actually the lamb sausage. I'm going to smear a bit of uh, mustard over it and then give it a taste. <laughs> <laughs> Very lamby. <laughs> okay, the next one I'm gonna um, taste is the the big fish that you see right in the middle of the uh, meat section. So uh, it looks really juicy and tender. Mmm, tastes really good. Um, the meat is sweet and soft at the same time. Um, 
quite tasty, I would say. Um, I'm next going to go for the strip loin. It's uh, very nicely roasted, as you can see. Color of the ruby. Mm. The meat is slightly on the tougher side. But um, in general, I think the the slab of meat was very well marinated because um, the flavors of the spices actually permeates into the depth of the meat. So that's great. Okay, then I proceeded to the Indian section to um, get some tandoori fish as well as tandoori chicken. So I'm going to go for the tandoori fish first. Just a small piece. Mm. As compared to the, the grilled fish over here, the tandoori fish is slightly on the tougher side. Mm. But of course, it's like infused with Indian spices, so it has got a different um, tasting experience to it, I would say. And then um, la the tandoori chicken, it looks really nicely marinated and prepared and very juicy looking also. Mm. As compared to the fish, right, the tandoori, tandoori chicken is slightly more tender and the meat is actually more infused uh, strongly with the spices, I would say. Mm, the last but not least, right, we have the papadum, which is shaped, very interestingly shaped over here. Mm. I must say that the papadum is very well done. It's not too salty because some of the papadum that we eat in Indian restaurants tend to be on the salty side, but this is just nice. I really like their Indian food very, very much. So I decided to try the paneer and the curry chicken and the saffron rice. I had that in the afternoon. Very delicious. So first, let me try the paneer first, the Indian cottage cheese. Wow. I think they imported a lot of spices from India or somewhere else. Really, really full of spices. It is not uh, burning hot, but it's full of spice. Very, very flavorful. It will go very well with the rice. Mm. Perfect. And then um, the chef actually recommended me to try the chicken curry. Oh, wow. This curry, it go well with the plain rice and it also go well with the prata. It like really, really delicious. I think they have a lot of the coconut milk inside and then the, a lot of spices again. It bring out the flavor very well. The whole buffet spread impressed me the most is the Indian food and the Chinese food right over there. So the next one I'm going to try is the salad. So there is a seaweed salad. Let me give it a try. Mm. Sorry. Mm. The seaweed salad is warm. If you love um, the wakame, like what you get in a, a sushi, it's quite okay. It's not that sweet. Then next one is a beef salad. Mm. I feel like I go back to Thailand already. Very nice. And the uh, next one is a very weird uh, item I never heard before. It's called Top Shell Spicy Salad. If you have no idea what is Top Shell, Google it. P O P S H E L L. Mm. It tastes similar like the. I think they use the same dressing for the beef salad. But um, the one in beef salad it tastes better than this one. The Top Shell is a little, a little bit rubbery. Mm. And the last one I'm going to try will be the grilled squid in the very first station that I think Sean missed that because that, um, they actually hide out a little bit so you might not see what they're actually serving. So this is a grilled uh, grill squid. Mm. Continuing with uh, the introduction of some of the other dishes, so the, China, the oriental section has got um, braised tofu and then uh, this is the uh, fish the fried fish let me try the braised tofu first mm. 
braised tofu. <laughs> okay, let me try the um, fried fish with um, sauce. Mm. I think the sauce has got uh, ginger in it, so it helps to kind of like lighten the taste. Mm, not too bad. And then this is the prawn. It looks huge and also succulent at the same time. Mm, the meat is um, okay. Yeah, not, not as nice as the grilled prawns. Then um, over here is the Kong Pao chicken. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and then this is the fried vermicelli. Very home cooked. <laughs> okay, and then over here from the um, grilled, grilled meat section, there is also the mushroom soup. It looks very creamy. Mm, it's not too bad. Lah. After the main causes, it's time for desserts. Um, I have taken uh, some of the desserts that um, is not in the afternoon tea, <laughs> which we have sampled earlier on. So, um, over here is the uh, Straits Chinese Peranakan kind of uh, dessert. It's called Kueh Talam. So, uh, I'm going to give it a go. Um, so, the green layer is actually pandan juice. And then the white layer is coconut. Mmm! Mm, it's very fragranceful, really nice, mm, and not too heavy, so you feel like you can keep eating it. And then right over here is the vanilla creme brulee. Oh, the um, sugar is very nicely caram caramelized. So that's the crack, crack, crack. This is good. This is good. And then we have the mm, apple tart tartine. Um, so I believe this is the um, the mash of uh, apple. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. And then um, there's the this is the fresh fig tart. Fig. Yeah, it's good for health. <laughs> Last but not least, tiramisu. <gasps> Check this out. <gasps> Very light, creamy. At the same time, it has got a very robust um, espresso flavor, so it's really good. I will recommend the desserts over here at the buffet spread. They have more than three ice creams, but the first I'm going to try the hazelnut ice cream, gelato, the uh, chocolate, dark chocolate gelato, and the coffee chip gelato. Let's try the hazelnut gelato first. It looks a little bit dry though. Mm. Approved the coffee chip or the dark chocolate. Oh, coffee chip is really good. I would recommend you to order one espresso, top in this uh, coffee chip, it will be a perfect. What did I call? I cannot remember. <laughs> Affogado, <laughs> dark chocolate. Mm. The dark chocolate. Almost it tastes like the tiramisu. We are really, really impressed with the tiramisu. And we'll try to eat more. We'll share with you that which one with our, is our favorite later. A little bit full now, but we will try our best to eat more as we can. The first one is a uh, big cheesecake. Mm. Above average big cheesecake. And this is something very unique. It's called the uh, rum. Passion fruit rum baba. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Yeah. Uh, it looks like some cream puff soaked with the passion fruit juice. Like that. <laughs> Let me give it a try. Mm. 
it's like a if you know gulab jamun <laughs> it's like a gulab jamun soaked in uh, passion fruit juice a little bit sweet and my favorite kuih dada uh, kind of the nonia dessert mm, this is really good what's your favorite dish for today uh, it has got to be the desserts tiramisu cream brulee and, cream brulee. <laughs> and the peranakan dessert mm. yep I think for my favorite will be the Indian food. Uh, the Indian food is like always my favorite. Honestly, even though our friend also say it's very nice. Mm, yeah, I think I like the papadum. <laughs> like what I say, it's not salty, it's not too spicy. So it's great even for kids. It's, uh, for my favorite for the Indian dish, I like the tandoori fish. Like. Oh. It's actually quite nice to me, but you prefer the chicken. Yeah, I prefer the chicken because I feel that it's nicely marinated and it's quite nicely spiced up as well. Okay, what about the Western food? Uh, okay, la, I think the grilled meat section has left uh, quite a decent impression. Uh, not too bad, especially the things like the street loin is okay, not too bad. Yeah. Because that Sean forgotten there's actually <laughs> sauces for the fish and the uh, beef. Yeah. But for me, I think the grilled prawn is very nice. Mm, yeah, I think it's better than the uh, prawn that is prepared in the oriental style, the fried prawn. Oh yeah, yeah. actually there's a lot of di- items that we did not try. Mm. So, but uh, I think so far it's totally worth for the money that we paid for the buffet yeah. dinner. So for $68 plus plus, right, we get like free floor, am I right? No, 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 no it's no, just no. a buffet. Free floor is another I see, addition. I see. Okay, yep. okay, so $68 <laughs> plus plus, I think it's still quite uh, wallet friendly because mm. of like an extensive selection of food that you can actually sample. Mm. Yeah, so that's not too bad. So we hope you like the video and I saw people are still swimming at the pool. Oh, yeah. yeah, then I hope you can come over here to enjoy the buffet dinner when you mm. stay over here or you're in Sentosa or when you want to look for something special for a buffet dinner. Yeah. Bye-bye. So, goodbye.